Oh, shit. There's some guy in the tournament. His name's Olympus. For some reason, I get a weird feeling that I've seen this guy before. I've heard of him or something. For some reason, I can't put my finger on it, though. But he's, it just sounds familiar, but I can't put my finger on it. But anyway, it's going down in the tournament, right? And Rebecca, she's still running like a bitch. And Christopher Columbus's cousin, just remember who it was, <laughs> or Columbus is putting in some work. He didn't kill this damn tiger or whatever. I meant this lion. So that's what you you see what Oda is doing. He's trying to get more animals involved instead of it just being, you know, people pirates. It's going to be animals. It's going to be more Peckhams, more Beppos, and uh, more Choppers and people like that. Anyway, back at Team Usopp, some people discovered them, right? But Usopp, he pretends to be scared to distract them. Then his team head out to fuck sugar, uh, sugar shit up. Those um, dwarves, they stomped the dudes into the ground, took their clothes. Now Usopp and Robin put their clothes on. I guess it's to be as disguises. And now they're heading over to sugar. Usopp's starting to see how uh, real shit is getting. And what he did was he tricked them. They think that he's scared that uh, he was pretending to be scared. He tricked them into leading the attack, and he says, "We're gonna gang up on this bitch." That's what he, that's what he basically said. Anyway, over the soldier, right? He manages to sneak on to this elevator, then held some motherfuckers down in the elevator. He ain't soft. The motherfucker can move. He was dodging bullets. Motherfucker fast as hell. He's laying these guys down, holding the whole, you know, um, elevator hostage. And he taught Rebecca how to fuck shit up. Now, he was hitting her, right? She kept saying, that hurt. Don't do it. He says, yo, in order to learn, you got to be able to, you know, be scared. Because if you're not scared, right, you're not going to, like, if you're scared, you're going to speed the fuck up to avoid them hits. So he taught her, how, you know, everything she knew. And he also made another good statement. He said, if I stay in the rain, I'll rust up. So these toys are just as... They had the same... Uh, um, uh, what am I trying to say? The same um, uh, weaknesses or, you know, that toys have. They can rust. They can break apart. Just like what you call them, a soldier lost a leg and all the other shit. So apparently the toys can't be as strong as human. Well, I don't know about can't. But they, I guess they, they will definitely be strong in human form. The humans can heal. You know what I'm saying? They, if they break down, they can heal. They can be, you know, stuff like that. Anyway, um, back to the tournament. Everybody passes out and only one person is attempting to get up. So the tournament, that, or that, that part of the tournament is pretty much done. And then we're going to finally get into the main portion that we want to see. Anyway, this chapter gets a three out of five. It was a transitional chapter, but it was slow paced. But we're going to get these every so often. But it was slow paced. I mean, look what happened with uh, Usopp team. They, they still didn't get anywhere. And they only beat two uh, ass wipes. So, you know, really, Usopp team didn't really do nothing. Soldier just went on the elevator. And he just, you know, holding people. He ain't go nowhere. He just on the elevator. Uh, Rebecca, you see what happened with that? that that's the only thing that really gets... Uh, 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 solved is that everybody get laid out, but we don't know whether it's Rebecca that's getting up or not. Probably so, probably so. To, to you know, but here's the one good thing about this chapter that really was good. How did they all pass out? They said that they saw it before, and we've seen that little smoke and all that kind of shit. Conquerors, uh, uh, hockey, but who did it? Nobody in the ring did it because everybody in the ring passed out except for one person. They, they fainted, though. And I'm guessing it's Rebecca, you know, to prove that she can take some hockey, like show that she's pretty good. And plus, who else Who else would, maybe Cavendish, but I don't think anybody else, would, you know, the, uh, older would want anybody else to win that part of the uh, tournament. But anyway, um, I believe it's Sabo. Sabo with, uh, with King's Hockey. Ain't that some shit? That's a good pres uh, Christmas present. Uh, Ace had it. Luffy has it, so why not Sabo? And plus, he might, he, we already know he's going for that fruit. He might say, let me get rid of this damn, let me get uh, uh, this part of the tournament over so I can get in there, fuck Jesus Burgers up, and then get my damn fruit. That would be nice. And plus, we know Sabo's pretty, you know, hardcore. So why wouldn't he have it? 
So that's another thing about that chapter that I like. I mean, that's the one thing about that chapter that I like. Maybe Sabo has conquerors hockey. Go ahead and leave your comment. Let me know what you think. Fuck the dumb shit. Like the video and subscribe. Anime and manga means more. Black Santa makes things happen. White Santa don't never make it happen.